Welcome back. Tom Waits is on the program tonight. Also, a uh, dangerous animal expert, Dr. Charles Levy, and uh, stupid human tricks in just a second. Paul, I have it on good authority. A big, major breakthrough development uh, coming up on Star Search. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's Let's all I can it. say. I can't know. I can't tell you any more you than that. You can't reveal any more than no. that? No. It's just a major development. That's all. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> we're looking forward to hearing yeah, about you that. You keep looking for that. This okay. is... Uh, a segment we like to call stupid human tricks. Now, let me emphasize that we don't use the word stupid applying, uh, stupid applying to the humans. No, no. The humans are fine, wonderful folks who have taught themselves how to do stupid things. And we have quite a collection tonight. Let me remind you, as always, this is a demonstration. This is not a competition. Please, no wagering. Let's meet the first, partici first participant, shall we? Mr. Joseph K. Shulman. Mr. Shulman. <laughs> Joseph, how are you? I'm David, how are you? Good, nice to see you. Okay. Joseph, where are you from? Uh, Lakewood, New Jersey. Lakewood, what do yes. you do for a living, sir? I'm a businessman. All right, and what is the trick you're going to do for us tonight? Well, I'm going to put packs of matches on tops of boxes of cigarettes. Okay, this is But a... I do it in a special way. This would be cigarettes, right? That would be cigarettes. Okay. So would that. All right. Where did you learn how to do this? My late uncle showed it to me. And where did your late uncle get it? He learned it in the service. He was a 20-year man in the Air Force. Uh-huh. Did some important things during his career. He then, certainly didn't he? did. <laughs> All right, three packs of cigarettes. We have king size. We have 100 millimeter and 120 millimeter. All right, and behind them you've placed three, three packs, packs of, of matches. ordinary matches. Okay. Right. The idea is to keep your middle finger on the table. Okay. Can we see the uh, what he's doing back there? All right. Okay. okay. To use your ring finger and your index finger, pick up the matches, put them on top of the cigarettes, just like that. You cannot lift this finger up. Two. Oh. Want me to try it? Sure. Is there any kind of uh, trick? Uh, do you have like a, a fake thumb that you use there? Or, all right, show me which, which, uh, what I am I doing six here? six tendons and five fingers. I don't know what it is. All right, now show me the move on that. Okay. Which, uh, it's this? You put the uh, middle finger down, use these two fingers, pick up the matches. Well, I can get him up about an inch. It's well, easy. Oh, but my finger's still... Well, good heavens, how do you... I don't even know what to do with that. But I can type... Well, I had my fingers run over by a truck as a young man, and I might have do, to do, do the, it. Do the tall one again. Okay. Yep. Ah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I just have to get a little lower. No, I can't, I can't even, you know, my brain starts to, uh, <laughs> that's about all I can do. No, that's nothing. I, that's very impressive. Thank you Congratulations. Very much. Thank a you fine very much. trick. Thank you very much. Joseph Schulman, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Nice meeting you. Here it is in uh, slow motion instant replay, that dramatic moment that uh, caused the crowd to go crazy. Do we still need this? All right. Uh, our next participant tonight, Charles... And I'm going to have to have some help on the last name. Charles, come on out here. How do you do, Charles? <laughs> Tell me. Matarasso. Matarasso. Nice to meet you, Charles. Where are you from? Oceanside. And what do you do for a living, Charles? A uh, student. A student. What do, where do you go to school? Uh, right now, I'm not going to school. I'm going to be going back to school. In so you're spring. not really a successful student. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> now I'm going to be going back to school in the spring. I just moved to Oceanside. Okay, from where did you move? Holbrook. Long Island. All right, nice oh, yeah. to have you here. What are you going to do for us tonight, Charles? I'm going to balance a spoon and a fork off the edge of a glass using a toothpick. Okay. Okay. Now, I think I can do this. I think this may be a trick I used to do. <laughs> yeah, this could be. <laughs> How did you learn this one? Um, an uncle of mine taught it to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's good in bars. All right. However, I... You're going to flambe it for us, aren't you? Yeah, I burn, I burn the inside part of the toothpick. And then there's some sort of explosion and glass shards go everywhere and... <laughs> and you're taken out of the bar and roughed up. Usually, yeah. All right, now what'll happen here? Um, it's gonna stop right at the edge of the glass. Steve, how about a little drum roll here, just to... <laughs> All right. The flame will stop the, uh... And, uh, Toothpick will stop burning, drop into the drink. No, yeah, well, yeah. No. 
Well, now you blew it out. No, it'll go to the end. Okay. And it'll stop. Now what do we do? You can pick it up. Oh, now you can pick it up. Right. And it'll stay. Oh, well, that's very impressive. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> nice job, Charles. Okay. Take a look at all of this action here on the uh, slow motion instant replay. Yeah. See, the, the beauty of having this replay, you see all of the detail you missed in the frenzy of the initial performance. Uh, Charles Metarasso, right? Nice to meet you, Charles. Thank you for being here. All right. Our next participant tonight, Dolores Kessler. Dolores. Hi, Dolores. How are you? Nice to see you. We're happy to see you. Thank you. Dolores, uh, where are you from, Dolores? Lindenhurst, Long Island. And what do you do for a living? I'm a receptionist. Yes, and what is the trick you're going to do for us tonight? I'm going to stand on my head, turn around, and spit nickels. And I've been able to do it since I've been 11. <laughs> and now I'm... And now I'm the big They've had her in all the best clinics of the world, and she... But she still does it. Uh, you're gonna, and you're 50 years old? Yes. That's, that's hard to believe. Uh, yeah. Stand on your head, spin around, and spit nickels. Yes. Now, where did you first learn to do this, and, and why did your parents allow you to continue it? <laughs> well, I started, I guess, in dancing school when I was about 11 years old. Uh -huh. And it's the only thing I remember still how to do from then. But the, the spitting nickels is quite a touch. That's my own touch. Oh, you, you added that off. <laughs> I guess, yeah. And Dolores. Uh, <laughs> uh, is, there anything, is, is there anything I can do for you, Dolores? No. Just give me a hug. Oh. The lovely Dolores Kessler, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable, isn't it? Thank you. Great job, Dolores. You know, when, yeah, when she, she first did that, I thought we were going to kick field goals, but it, uh... <laughs> now, wait a minute. <laughs> is, is this the holiday spirit? <laughs> and I'm guessing Dolores had an uncle who taught her how to do that also. Now... Please, ladies and gentlemen, I'm losing the will to live now. Uh, let's move on, shall we? Is Dolores all right? That was very nice, Dolores. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, good. <laughs> Our next participant is Stephen Paul. Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Stephen, how are you? Nice I'm to see you. These, these are nickels that uh, someone spit out of their mouth, so <laughs> you may not want to touch those. No, I'll put, uh, put these over there. Stephen, where are you from, sir? Uh, originally from Bethesda, Maryland. Yes, sir. Where are you living now? In Huntington. And wh what do you do for a living? I'm a curmudgeon at a nature center. A curmudgeon at a nature center? Yes, I, I gripe about things and complain. And... Well, is there good money in that? Uh, that's fair. fair okay. Fair. Uh, now, uh, Stephen, tell me about your trick. You're already setting it up. Uh, but okay. What are we going to do here? I'm going to put eggs on top of these glasses of water. These are uh, li real. These are live eggs. They're not hard boiled. Uh -huh. I mean, they're you know. Well, now wait a minute. You, you kind of jumped the gun here. Lift the tray up. All right. Now these are just regular drinking glasses, right? With with water, water in there. Water. That's right. Okay. All right. That's put right. it back down there. Thank you, sir. Okay. And, okay, the hardest part is just to line the... I'm going to put the eggs on top of the glasses, and I'm going to shoot the pan out, and the eggs are going to go straight down into the glasses of water. Oh. Now, where, where did you learn how to do this? Uh, well, I saw someone else do it. Uh-huh. A long time ago. And okay. I didn't believe it either. 
Placing the... Now, these are just rolled-up matchbook covers. Right, these are matchbook covers, okay. you know, available at any drug store. Oh, they are? Oh, good. <laughs> these, these matchbook covers are available at drug stores. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Lately, they've been like those Cabbage Patch dolls. You can't get them anywhere. Well, after I do this trick, you know, it'll be a rush. Well, you're probably right. The hardest part is aligning the eggs. The eggs have to be right on top of the glass yeah. of water. I think we got it. Okay, now, Stephen, let me ask you this. Would you would you like to do this with a drum roll, or would you like to do it without a drum roll? Uh, with, with. And, All right, Stephen. Watch out, because the tray goes out. Don't stand over there. All right. Make him do it over? Yeah! All right, all right. Set up again. Dolores, stand by! <laughs> you have extra eggs, eggs here? I brought more eggs, okay. Now, what was the problem there? It looked good, but you had the uh, one on the lower left a little off, huh? I was, I felt, I think I uh, didn't have it lined up just right. Okay. You know, it's nervous. You know, oh, I'm sure nervous. you're nervous. I can understand that. I'm nervous, you know? All right, now, do you have all your matchbook covers? Yeah, I have my matchbook covers, the same ones. Get out these okay. eggs. Okay, you can put one on. Okay. Now, now, what's this, Stephen? Is this a... a standard broom. But now, that, are these available in the... I had a hard time finding that one. All right. Most brooms nowadays aren't okay. made so well. I hate to rush okay, it, but yeah, we want to get right to it so we can capture all the majesty that the moment provides. <laughs> Why do they want to see I don't again? know. I don't know what it means either. Okay. Well, if you really want to work at Galilee. Got to line those up. It's good advice for the kids watching at home. Got to line up those eggs, kid. Here we go. A lot of people just want to rush into it, but, you know. All right. Drum. <laughs> Thank you.